brick by brick I'll pull your heartstrings brick by brick Make you love me Hey girl, let me build you up Play an optimist, let me feel you good What's up guys? So we back we back out here again. I don't know, did I have this shirt on the other day? I think I might have, but you know, look, I ain't got shit else to do, so I did laundry and just threw it back on today. But I see one of these little tiny birds. Um, because we me and Pancake, we on our walking. We on our walking. We on the walk path. We we out here walking. Okay. And there was this little bird that was like so close to me like it was real small it looked like it was almost like a dragonfly but it was a bird i forget what you call those but then by the time i took my phone out to take a picture of it it had flew in the tree but let me tell y'all something okay so yesterday listen i told you guys i was back on my walking kit okay i don't know if that's what you want to call it but let me tell y'all oh you see the doggy you see the dog? So yesterday, you know, I went on a walk again. Yesterday morning, it was even earlier. It was like 5.30, 5.30 in the morning, okay? Because I was up. And because my husband, or my fiance, whatever you want to call him, he was going to work. He had went to work. And um, let me tell y'all, I don't really buy sneakers. I don't really buy sneakers. I'm not a sneaker person. So I don't really have any sneakers. And the sneakers that I do have of my own, they are so old, like, I've been here for seven years in July. Them sneakers was probably like 10 years old. I will keep some sneakers, because I don't really wear sneakers. But the sneakers that I have are not appropriate for, you know, like walking and stuff. So my husband's, his are, because he has like, what do you call those Air Max? Air Max, mm -hmm. So he has some Air Max. And like, I borrowed them to put them, you know, to wear. Because I had his old Arachis and I had those forever. Like I bought them for him when I was in New York. Probably like five years. Probably like five years before I moved from New York. So they old. They're like 20 years old, okay? But I was wearing them until I wore the soles out. All right? So, and this was just for walks because I don't buy sneakers. So he lets me borrow his, um, he doesn't really care. You know, I put them on. He had two pairs. He had two pair of Air Maxes. I don't know what the other sneakers are, but these two by, be by the front door. Now, let me tell y'all, I wear a size 11 in women, okay? And I'm only 5'5", five, five, or not even 5'5", five, five, I'm almost 5'5", five, five. but I wear a size 11 in women. And I don't know why, so don't worry about that. But, you know, he wears size eight and a half, nine in men. So come on, pancakes, stand still, walk straight. So... Sometimes I could fit his shoes. When I say sometimes, I don't mean with a comfortable ass fit. Like, bitch, wear these for a couple of minutes and don't think you're going to be wearing them all day because your toe might start hurting. And I always make sure to check that my toenails is cut because you know how you be putting on shoes and if your toenails ain't cut, them shoes going to hurt. And I always had that problem because I don't like cutting my toenails because I'm scared of toenails. I don't like feet. I'm scared of feet. If I have not told y'all a story, then I'll have to tell you in another video. But anyway, so, and I'm pretty sure you guys already know. Listen, I was really young. I think I was like about eight. I was making a sandwich. It was a meat and cheese sandwich. You know how kids, as kids, we never get dish um, plates. We just throw it on the counter. Well, that's what I did. I threw it on the table. And I was making a turkey sandwich. I'll never forget. When I put the sandwich together, you know, I bit into it. You know, I bit into it. And I was like, what the, I, didn't see, I don't remember what I said, but I know when I opened my mouth, I pulled out a toenail and come to find out there was toenails embedded all in my sandwich because my grandfather cut his toenails and then fucking put them on the table. But anyway, yeah, so I was wearing his shoes, my husband's shoes. Let me tell you, he need to go up a size, at least so that way we could share because my fucking toe is killing me and my toenails is cut. And not only that, but my legs hurt so bad to where it feels like I've been walking forever. Okay, so I really don't even want to be out here right now, but we are. And my phone is about to die because it's only like 10%. So I guess I'm gonna have to finish this for later. And you better behave yourself, girl, because she always thinks she could be back in it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good. Are you doing okay? Yes, 